Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen Courtney. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so that you will be notified when I do new uploads. To all my supporting family and subscribers, I thank you all so much for continuing to tune in and support this channel. You guys already know the vibes. Today, we are going to be getting into another fragrance review. And this time we are going to be reviewing Victor and Rolf Magic Line. I have five fragrances here that I'm going to be reviewing and then I have like three travel size fragrances as well. So you guys, if you're interested in seeing this review, just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so the first fragrance I'm going to be reviewing is Dancing Roses. This fragrance has pink pepper, lychee, saffron and a cherry brandy all of these fragrances are like long lasting gonna leave a first impression when you walk in a room everyone is going to smell you like they're very very long lasting potent powerful and all that good stuff magic dancing roses this smells so good you guys i would say this is like a soft fruity um sweet spicy fragrance this can be worn all year round i think um but yeah you guys that was dancing roses so the second fragrance that i'm going to jump into is going to be sparkling secret has lime grapefruit ginger orange blossom amber white woods and bourbon vanilla just those notes alone like are sparkling and it seems like there's a secret to tell did you get what i did there sparkling secret this is like a citrus woody vanilla fragrance it's very spicy the first smell that i get is very different but you guys this one is um one of my favorite from this line this entire line is out of there like it's amazing so let's go ahead and jump into our third fragrance and that is going to be sage spell this one you guys by far is my absolute favorite i love this one so much you guys oh my goodness like it's the sage for me like that's all i smell but the notes that are in this pink grapefruit pink pepper sage spicy mint and guess what y'all already know patchouli duh so this is a green fresh spicy citrus fragrance let's get into invisible oud so i kept the packaging on this one just to show you all how pretty the packaging is so this is how it comes like this and like a card i think that is the cutest thing so dancing roses salty flower and i'm gonna get into that sage spell which i just got into I just think these are so cool, like unique. And these fragrances are very unique. And then this is the Sparkling Secret one. So it's like cards inside of the boxes. I just think that's a cute idea. Invisible Oud, this was my last purchase from this line. This says Precious Oud, White Musk, Pink Pepper, Sweet Benzoin, and Vanilla. Y'all, the Oud in this is crazy like all of these just are ridiculous like they smell so good you guys this invisible oud is like a sweet warm spicy powdery fragrance and don't don't be scared of the powdery because some people don't like a powdery fragrance but this the mixture of all of those notes just make it sweet warm spicy and lightly powdery that was invisible oud you guys okay you guys so i'm gonna move on to salty flower this fragrance is more of a spring summer fragrance to me that's just my opinion you can wear it all year round if you choose but for me i enjoy wearing this fragrance in the spring and in the summertime. salty flower has sea salt bergamot orange blossom tuberose jasmine and moss this just smells like honestly it kind of smells like a dupe to mason margella beach walk so um it's a little less expensive but it it's similar to mason margella beach walk you guys this i would say is like a salty white flower musky fragrance 
it just smells like a beach. Like when you go on vacation to wherever you're gonna go that has a beach, make sure you wear Salty Flower, you guys. It's amazing, okay? The last three fragrances, you guys, are actually in a travel spray. I already reviewed these in the large bottle, but um, these three over here, I do not have in a large size bottle, so I will be reviewing them from this. And I think that this is also like the cutest thing because it comes with this card with all of the fragrances that are in this collection on it. I just think that's cute. So let's go ahead and jump into Liquid Diamonds. This one right here has been like a huge hit. This to me is all year round, but to each his own. Some may say that they would just wear this spring and summer. Liquid Diamonds, you guys, has pink pepper, peony, Bulgarian rose. I hope I said that right. I think I did. Jasmine, and guess what? Patchouli. This is a fresh, floral, soft, spicy fragrance. You guys, these are just walk in the room, walk out, and you're still gonna smell me fragrances. Like all of these from this magic collection will have you leaving a first impression. It will have your scent like still lingering in the room after you have left. Like they're just very, very powerful, long lasting fragrances, you guys. So to all my heavy sprayers, heavy hitters, whatever you wanna call it, these, a little goes a long way with these, but if you wanna spray her heavy, go right ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanna be, I want people to smell me when I'm out the room like that was her and it still smells like she's in here but she's really gone you you feel what I'm saying so that was liquid diamonds you guys the next fragrance I'm going to do is dirty trick so dirty trick says ink which I don't know what ink smells like but this smells good suede cedar and iris this is in like a earthy, violet, leather, soft, spicy fragrance. There's a note in here that really, really stands out and I wish I knew what it was. I kind of think it's the iris, but it's very earthy, warm, spicy, leather, leathery. It just smells good, you guys. That was Magic Dirty Trick. The last fragrance that I have, you guys, is going to be Lavender Illusion. Lavender Illusion has black currant, lime, lavender, of course, pine, and musk. And of course, the first note that I get in this is the lavender, hence the name, Lavender Illusion. Um, If you're not a huge lavender fan, you may not like this. I'm not a huge lavender fan, but I love this fragrance. It's different it's unique it stands out it just is like like i just think these fragrances like tell a story you know like when you wear it someone is gonna remember what you had on that day because of how the fragrance smells because it's so long lasting it's unique it's different and it's you like these are just all unique magic fragrances you guys this i would say is a fresh spicy, fruity, lavender fragrance. Here are some of the fragrances that I reviewed today, you guys. If you are interested in seeing more fragrance reviews and you haven't seen any in my previous videos that you would like to see, go ahead and drop in the comments some um, new fragrance reviews that I could do or some ideas that you all want to share with me that I could share with you all on this channel. You guys, that is the end of this video. But before I go, you guys already know that I have to share with you my scent of the day. And today I am wearing Clean Reserve. I'm actually wearing two because I layered them. These fragrances you can layer. And so today, the first one is Clean Reserve Suede Oud. And then the second one is Amber Saffron. So I layered these two, you guys, out of there. Like, it, I smell so good. I wish you guys could smell me through your screens. But unfortunately, you can't. But you guys, those were my two fragrances of the day. Go ahead and drop your fragrance of the day in the comments. If you enjoy these videos, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Push that post notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and I will catch you all in the next video.